Okay guys, here we are. I um, just want to share this clip with you because it's the closest I've come to having a pretty nasty accident in, uh, in many years. And I caught it on film, so uh, here we go. Uh, in Thailand, we're used to more dangerous uh, riding environments. So that the roads the roads are more dangerous in Thailand, but when you accept that and you, you have experience it, you, used to, you, you, know, you, you expect people to do the worst, you expect someone to, to not look or to not indicate and to pull out. And if you ride defensively, it's really pretty okay, especially people are aware of bikes here. Yeah, there's so many scooters around, people are aware of bikes, so they look for you more. So I, I don't generally have a problem with that, but in this situation, combination of things happening at the same time, it, it was pretty close. The, the One part of it's my fault, my horn isn't working, I need to get a new horn. So uh, I've got a trike behind me and three other guys on bikes, we're riding together, we're not breaking any, uh, we're not setting any speed records here, we're, we're riding quick, but we're not, not ridiculous. And what happens is, a car pulls out to join the road, to join the traffic. You know, it pulls out from a park position, but it's also at a junction where another road is coming out, and uh, scooters coming the other right, other way towards me wants to turn into that road. Um, luckily, the scooter moves over at the last minute just enough that I can get through. Otherwise, and the trike got through behind me somehow. Um, but you know, we can't. I can't brake quickly. I can't do unexpected stuff because there's the risk of the guys behind they're going to hit me. So, uh, yeah, just to, you'll see what happens just a second here around this corner and then a little bit further on. So we've got the trike behind me, and then we've got Steve and uh, Graham and Patrick was on me. And we're coming back from Phuket. So the, uh, the perspective of the camera, you'll see it looks, it looks like a big gap. It's not. It's a big, the, the gap I put my bike through. Well, my handle, my, my throttle handle here, you'll see now. Look. And the bike coming the other way, just moved over. He moved over about a metre. Otherwise, I would have literally punched him with, the, with my throttle handle there. And uh, I just skimmed past the wing of, the, of that truck. That was really scary. And watch it again in slow motion. Um, and you'll see just how close they are at the last minute. And no point do the guy's brake lights come on. He's not indicating. He didn't see me at all until I was level with his window. Got a bit of slow motion here you'll see it you'll see the the scooter coming the other way pull over just pull over a little bit in the lane i've got about there's a there's less than a meter between the center and, and the truck then uh, un unbelievable very very lucky and uh, staying calm and in control also helped obviously in that situation and there's two freeze frames here you see the different positions of the scooter so there's the scooter he's in the middle of the road there and then as we get, as I get closer, he, he sees the problem and he moves over and that allows me through. But yeah, really scary. Stay safe and uh, yeah, ride safe.